Hello friends, and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald, the worst final evolutions. So last time we arrived in Mauville City, and we acquired member number four of our team, Illumina the Illumise. And this is going to be pretty interesting, because I never used an Illumise before, and it's known to be a support Pokemon, so in double battles it should be fine, but in single battles, uh, it's debatable. But I'm going to persevere and make this Illumise the strongest it can be. And what better way to test its strength out? Then let's uh, try to conquer some gym fights. And looks like some of them are double battles. Yeah, so I'm going to take advantage of that. Uh, we will let Dusty come on out. We'll let this be the Battle of the Bugs. And thankfully, none of these bugs are flying types. So I should uh, be okay from electric moves. Here's hoping. Well, one's a battle girl, so probably Metatite. Yep. That's what I find uh, they did quite often is uh, if the <laughs> if it's like a, the electric gym or the fire gym, it's we'll have some trainers that have Metatites in them and they have their elemental punches. Yeah, let's see what happens. I know it's fighting Psychic, so that'd be a neutral hit, a good critical hit, and Confusion. Oh my goodness. Dusty coming out swinging. Hey, don't lower my defenses. I'm trying to lower your offenses. All right. Although that might go against the confusion too. Oh, okay. Maybe that's a good thing to deal with the Metatite right away. So I'm going to do just that. And all right. Lumina coming in for the backup. And another Metatite. What a surprise. So I'm going to do the same thing just in case, because if you remember, Metatite's ability is... Oh, wow. We're just basically doing a repeat. Uh, Metatite's ability is uh, pure power, so its attack stat is automatically doubled uh, thanks to the ability. So if I harshly lower its attack, uh, the uh, attack stat will be effectively at its normal. However, I really don't have to worry too much. And especially because it's using Thunder Punch, which is considered a special move. Hmm. Yeah, both of these Pokemon have Moonlight, I just realized. They could, they could really stall some things out if they get damaged. I just don't have a means to heal Paralysis without uh, berries, so we'll see what happens. Alright, but we got through, so now it's my two Pokémon against uh, the other Pokémon uh, on the other side. Uh, so we'll do this, and hey, look at that. Hey, that's not fair. It's too bad I don't have a means to lower defense out on the field right now, because that would help these guys out. Excuse me, I am trying to heal. Oh, that's right. I have the Quick Claw attached to Dusty, so even the, the Paralysis really isn't going to do too much. Provided it triggers. That explains earlier, because I remember the Electric used a Quick Attack, and then uh, Dusty went, even though Dusty was paralyzed. Okay, well, my Pokemon's defenses are... Definitely lowered quite a bit. Of course, then uh, there's still a fresh Pokemon in the back, probably another Electrike. Oof. There we go. At least we got through the first Electrike. And a level up for Lumina. Way to go. Ah, just a Voltorb. Okay, I want Lumina to get the experience still, so Piers is going to come in, and Dusty should be fine. Ah, so the gym trainers are a little more prepared. I 
Actually, now that I think about it, the special move for this gym is Shockwave, which is an electric type move that cannot miss. So I can't even do any sand attack shenanigans. Oh, that's gonna be fun. And to be fair, I'm fairly certain I'm gonna lose if I go up against the gym leader. At the very least we got through that. And because the Pokemon Center is close by, I'm not gonna waste the healing items. Wee! Jeez, I think you stop on a dime right in front of a door. Be kind of funny if, uh, <laughs> like when you're at full speed a mock bike, like you, you like, if you were to go into a door, you'd actually hear the bonk, and then the door open. So it's like, ooh. <laughs> but nope, they're ready for it. Okay, so yeah, the goal of the gym is to exchange the electric currents. And we get stuck with trainers along the way. Oh yeah, when in doubt, use normal Pokémon. <laughs> Let me show you your older brother. Come on out, peers. Oh no! Ah, no trouble. Alright. Your points, level 15. Okay. Well, Lumina's getting levels. I'll take it. I don't think it's going to be en uh, enough for anything to be good for this uh, gym, mind you, but hey, it's something. Alright, quick switch back. Might as well let Piers finish this off because uh, the experience would get split otherwise. If I just waited a turn, that would have been a much better switch. But... Should be fine. Hopefully. I'll just wait out the sleep. I don't think Gulpin can do very much on its own in the early levels. And, hey, I could be lucky and just wake up. Alright, that's pretty good. It's no fun to lose, he says. Well, hey, sometimes uh, if you lose, you learn something new. So uh, maybe just every once in a while, lose keeps yourself humble. That's what I always say. It's like, if, if you lose but learn something along the way, it was still worthwhile. All right. Hey, look, it's an Elamise standoff. All right, if I want to take this the most efficient, you know what, I should probably deal with the Voltorb first. Because if they're smart, they probably have Shockwave. To be fair, I think everything in this gym has Shockwave. And, yeah, that's just going to be bad. I mean, surprise critical hit would be nice, but... Oops. Ah, set damage Sonic Boom. Okay, that's one way to do it. Aha! I don't care about your charms. I'm confusing. Yeah, so we'll just do this. Yeah, there's what I thought you had. <laughs> and even that doesn't do too much to Dusty. Alright, Voltorb down, that's pretty good. Ah, hello Magnemite. Okay. You know what? could get pretty bad otherwise, so we're taking matters into a different set of hands. And that'll still do very little. Ooh, is that enough? Yeah, hold on, I think... Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay. Yeah, fun trick I didn't learn until like 10 years after I started playing, um... Uh, Emerald, you can actually see your HP values in double battles here just by hitting the start button. 
So now I know the exact numbers. Right, yeah, Dusty's eating that. Not really surprised. Um, yeah, I should be able to knock out Pokemon pretty quick with Piers. And thank goodness Elameze isn't part flying. Because that would have sucked. Alright, so now we're just down to the Bug Maniac, I think? Yeah, I don't think it was a Bug Catcher. I think it was a Bug Maniac. <laughs> a Bug Catcher's Evolved form. Ooh, good. Just enough I can get the Moonlight off. There we go. It's not a lot of health, but it's something. Here, since I'll probably knock the Ilumise out here. There we go. Now, should be a Volbeat? Yep, no surprise. So the male counterpart to Ilumise. Now, for anyone who knows uh, between Volbeat and Ilumise, why I picked Ilumise and not Volbeat, considering they're kind of similar, uh, I believe that Volbeat's stat spread works a lot better for trying to get through the game. Whereas, um, like, well, Volbeat's uh, much more into... Uh, We'll say it's a much better usage of uh, its physical uh, stats. Because um, it gets, uh, I believe it gets Silver Wind, but its signature move is Tail Glow, which allows it to uh, boost its special defenses, or not special defenses, special offenses uh, by two stages, which is pretty good. Uh, so uh, Volbeat has a means to set up and sweep with special moves. Whereas Ilumise has none of that. It is purely a support Pokemon. So I'm, I'm fairly certain that uh, anytime I try to bring in uh, Ilumise, it's it's going to be a challenge unless I get some move variety on it. <laughs> okay. But best thing I can... Oh yeah, how much money do I have? Ooh, I should probably go spend that now. I'm fairly certain I'm going to lose, so I'm going to make the best use of my money while I can. We Oh, who's this? Oh, Wally. Okay, yep, so there we go. I've taken enough steps to trigger that one. So, hey, look at all the phone, uh, phone numbers I'm getting. That must be popular. Okay, so what can I spend off of you? Yeah, you know what? It's probably just super potions. There we go. Now, I shouldn't lose too much. We. Alright. But now, for reals. Trying to deal with Gym Leader Watson. Uh, I should probably just go in swinging right off the bat. Piers would be the best bet for at least the first two. Lumina just might have to be a. Uh, <laughs> a sacrifice for a safe switch. Not gonna lie. And I don't have any hold items either. So it kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, I don't even think giving it a berry will do any good. What do I have? Well, paralysis might be a good thing for me to be careful of, so let's put some cherry berries on these guys. There we go. At least they've at least they have something. But let's see. I've given up on my plans to convert the city I have, and so I put my time into making door traps in my gym. Oh? Now what are you doing here? What's that? You say you've gotten past all my rigged doors? Yeah, that's how I'm kind of talking to you, sir. <laughs> now that's amusing. Nia Watson, the leader of Mauville Gym, shall electrify you. And you probably will. <laughs> Alright, so it starts off with a Voltor. Okay, well at least my main three are over the starting levels. Let's go. Ooh, starting big right off the bat. I don't like you. All right, now you're gonna bring in Electrike. Okay. Let's just let's just do some damage. Oh, beauty! I <laughs> wasn't expecting that. All right. This is. What I was. This is one of the two things I'm afraid of. 
so this is just a lower defense if it actually worked Oh boy. This could be bad. Yeah, Con Echo's the only other Pokemon I've got that could even attempt to do something. So. Oh no. It's my. <laughs> I basically have to win like four coin flips for this to work. Yeah, figured. Right, well, just going with Sonic Boom. It's like you're giving me hope. It's like you gave me hope and then you took it all away. Good job, Watson. Alright, well... Might be time for me to hit the old dusty trail. Well, I could get lucky... If I somehow hit the 10% chance of confusion. I could have had a chance. Yeah, Supersonic, Sonic Boom, Shockwave. I'm certain there's another move hiding in there somewhere. I just hate the fact that I can't hit this thing with Poison Sting and stall it out. Ah, uh, well, at the very least I get to listen to the good music of this gym battle, because I think I said it in the Roxanne... It was either the Roxanne or the Brawly fight, but this is one of my favorite tracks in the game. It's got the, it's got the perfect mood, shall we say, for a, a tense battle. All right, now we got everything else working against me. I mean, if I really wanted to try and fight it, I could uh, try to get some moonlights going here. Maybe I can do a quick claw moonlight. Nah, I think I was one turn too late. All right. Well, I know that I can beat the first two with peers. It's beating the others. Just end me now, Magneton, please. Oh, look, the cherry berry actually came in use. <laughs> Go, Elamise! <laughs> Do, like, one point of damage. Oh, come on, Magneton, end. End me. Fine, I'll end myself. There we go. Wow, that didn't even move the bar. Oh boy. Okay. So either... Either I have to be really good with Piers in the first two hits. Voltorb using self-destruct was definitely a a game ender there, I think. That's what sealed uh, his win. Um, or I just have to get some levels on these guys. So I don't really need to use the cherry berry right now. So I think what I'll do is I will take some time. Oh, yeah, that's just daycare. And I'll do some trainer fights going to Verdant Turf Town, because I do have to make some progress over there. Uh, might as well do some gym uh, gym training along the way. Now this one's just a straight double battle as opposed to two individual trainers. So let's do this. Good hit. And that, to be fair, wasn't terrible. I mean, I would like it to be a lot stronger, but it wasn't terrible. We'll just take care of the Makuhita now. And if I remember, Lumina was really close to a level. Yes. Ah! <laughs> All it is is a better tackle. Just an infinitely better tackle. I will get some better moves for you yet, Lumina. Just wait. And that is a cool thing, too, if in the process, in a double battle, if uh, you replace a move that you were going to use, you will use the new move. So now Lumina is able to inflict a little bit of damage. 
Jeez, it's gonna be like the Effie situation of uh, Pokemon Crystal all over again. Except Lumina can actually learn moves. Okay. Yep, more phone calls. Alright, that is... Yeah, just another triathlete, I think? Or is this... No, this is a breeder, so I think I'll be dealing with a full team of six. Yep, full team of six. Which... To be fair, isn't the worst thing for Lumina right now, because Lumina can actually do some damage. So at least Lumina will be able to get all the experience. This kind of sucks that uh, Ilumise doesn't have a setup move, like boost attack or something, like Howl. Ooh, that might actually be bad. I think I'm going to switch. The kitty wants to play with Birdie. Okay, as much fun as assist would be, I do want to actually take care of this Talo now, and then bring Ilumise back in. Ooh, so close. All right. Let's go, Lumina. See how that comes back to bite me. Oh, this will be like... Oh. <laughs> I almost feel insulted that did two. <laughs> I meant two damage, not two hits. Okay. Aha! Okay. Another split, but not terrible. Even enough for Koneko to get a level up. Regular old Zigzagoon. Ah, oh, the sand attack actually got me. Wow, that did, like, nothing. Headbutt's supposed to be strong. <laughs> I just was waiting to see a critical hit there and be like, Haha, fooled you, it actually did a lot. Just knowing my luck. Okay, definitely not going to be able to do much for this. Here's his time to shine. Although if I did want to be smart about it, I should have kept Lumina in and used Moonlight and then swapped out. Oh, I can't even blame Sturdy for that one. That just actually, uh, that Aeron just actually lived with one. Okay. Level 18. Well, Lumina's getting a lot of levels. Must be in a fast EXP curve, then, or faster than I'm used to. I'll take it. <laughs> it just means I can get more levels faster. I should be able to live one hit, or just get reintroduced to Sand Attack again. But, we'll actually use Moonlight. It's like potions that you can only use in battle. Except it doesn't break the rules. Alright, well... Ah, uh, judging from that it just turned yellow, I'd say it's still gonna live another quick attack. Alright. Well, I can live every quick attack if it doesn't hit. Oh my goodness. I'm committed at this point. Oh, thank goodness. All right, I know the XP was split, but that's fine by me. And the sad part is there's another trainer on this route that uses six Pokemon too. It's another Pokemon breeder. So I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll have to sit through another one of those again. But it's like I said, it's, it's good experience for uh, Lumina right now because well, Lumina can't really do too much offensively. All right, so yep, yeah, that's yep. So this should be a triathlete. So Doduos, which are the worst thing for uh, Lumina and Dusty right now. So I'm a getting you out. 
Ah, Kitty wants to play with Birdie again. Alright. Tackle or assist? Oh, who am I kidding? Assist. <laughs> yes! That was kind of what I was hoping to <laughs> with a crit. Oh, Koneko, I love you. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't think I was going to have this much fun using a skitty. Okay. <laughs> just, we'll just end the fight now. Uh, that was already, like, the best. <laughs> oh, Koneko, that was brilliant. Yeah, all the phone numbers on this route. Okay, and I think this one... Yeah, he's just a little kid running around. Okay. Oh, lots of trainer fights here. Now, keep Dusty in. I'm trying to think. If that... That's a triathlete. Who would be better for my team to deal with? I think... This. Psychic. Okay, that... I think they were just equally bad. But if it's an Abra, then Quick Attack could actually deal some damage. Doduo and Ralts. Okay, yeah, kind of the same thing. Okay, yep, yeah, we'll just go Quick Attack and Confusion. No, I went for Fury Attack, so... I don't have to risk a KO yet. Okay, thank you for ending after three with that. And we'll just do the same thing again. It worked last time. Maybe a knockout? Ah, so close. Fine by me. Free potion, basically. <laughs> that might be a benefit to some of the Pokemon I'll be having on my team. They have self-recovery. Especially in Dusty's case, because I'm fairly certain by the end game, Dusty's just going to be a, uh, a poison stall Pokemon, which kind of my motto when it comes to these things. I will use every tool in the book to win. So if it... If I have to get to a point where I have to poison stall out my opponents, so be it. <laughs> Alright, well we got through that. Which does leave the other trainer over here, but I'm gonna get this item first. And of course. Hmm. I could actually knock that out with Lumina with little difficulty. But I'm fairly certain that Oddish has powder moves on it, so I'm going to withhold. What do I got? A useless item! Okay, got out of that. And so this should be a fighter, or a battle girl. Metatite or Hariyama, I'm fairly certain. Metatite. So we'll see what happens. Hey, don't detect. Aha! You failed that coin flip. Alright, I think... Should be able to knock this Metatite out the next hit. Just like that. Good amount of experience, too. That was a pretty high level. All right. So now we have, yeah, Bug Maniac here, and then I think there's a Pokemon Breeder over uh, just to the left. And then that would be every trainer on this route. And then that might be a good spot for me to call the episode. All right, so you have fully evolved bugs, it looks like. Chances are good I should try to knock you out as soon as possible. Although I should have brought in uh, 
dusty, because then I could have used confusion. But hey, nothing wrong with a good old powerful headbutt. There we go. And beautify. Now another another one too. Uh, Beautifly I had considered for the team as well, but Beautifly actually has some good moves going for it. Uh, it it learns some powerful grass moves. It learns powder moves. It learns silver wind. Like it it has a good arsenal of moves on it. Uh, good enough that I actually deemed it not in the worst six. Like. Even Dustox debatably could have skipped the main six, but at the end of the day, I decided that its toolkit was enough to keep it in. Okay, if I remember right... No, it is by defense. No, Oddish, I'm not going to battle you. Probably stun spore me. I don't want that right now. Yes, little hole in the fence over here. So, yep. Yeah. Okay, that could help. Uh, I think there was a hidden item there. Okay, repels are good. And, yep. Yeah. So, let's, let's kick off the final part of this episode. Yeah, I might as well just use the ether here. Can't use ethers in battle, so it's handy. So, we'll do that just to allow Ilumise to fight a few Pokemon here. Alright, start with a Wingle. Oh, I just got uh, May flashbacks. Alright, here we go. Ooh, good hit. That's not what I wanted. That's still not what I want. Oh boy. Let's see if I can bypass a confusion for some healing. Nope. No surprise. I don't think Wingle has wing attack just yet, and that's what I'm banking on. I could I could be horribly wrong and I just wasted an ether. Well, you are making this difficult. Oh my goodness, how many turns of confusion? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man, this is uh, this is bad, and I just want to heal up uh, Ilumise and get it out. Didn't want to split the experience so early, but well, it looks like that's what's gonna have to be. Let Dusty come on. Aha. I won't have to worry about your growls. I've got confusion. Okay. Ooh. Might keep Ilumise out just in case, because I'm fairly certain Goldeen has Peck in its early moveset, and that would hurt. Not as much as that crit confusion, though. That was strong. Okay, this should be a little safer. Water gun? Nope, just tackle. Yeah, Meryl's offenses are not the best. Like, even, even the ability that it has uh, doesn't really add too much to its strength right now. Like, don't get me wrong, I properly... A properly trained Azumarill in the later games? Oh, yeah, that's that's power right there. But in the early days, uh, not so much. Okay, I'm probably going to take an effect spore here somewhere. Let's just bite the bullet. Oh, well, it's like I called it or something. Yeah, this could be bad if I let this battle drag on. We'll let Koneko come in. Have some fun. <laughs> Kitty wants to play with the mushroom. 
Assist! <laughs> wow! Apparently Koneko really likes uh, using confusion, and I am not complaining. Let's do it again! Ah. Okay, well, hey, sand attack helps. Now, well, didn't help enough, but oh well. All right, we'll just go tackle. Well, at least I dodged the absorb. Pretty good. Who's coming in next? Ooh, Roselia. Let's just go for it. Ooh, not bad. I mean, yes, I am double leveled, but most of the Pokemon I use are <laughs> lower offense than average. So, I'll give them every compliment I can. Oh, hey! Kitties want to play! Come on, Koneko, show, uh, show this skitty your bag of tricks. Uh, a little stage fright? Come on, don't worry about it. The skitty wants to see you use assist. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that was a perfect one. All right, we're just going to end this with a tackle because this has been going on for quite a bit of time. Aw. Koneko feels sorry for hitting the skitty with the headbutt. It's okay. There we go. Battle finished. <laughs> all right. Well, that ends all the trainers on the route, thankfully. I didn't... I didn't remember there being so many on the route, but now, okay, you're gonna get some screen flare. Just hold on. Just gonna take care of this now. There we go. All right, I've been going on for quite a bit of time here, so I'm going to call the episode here. So, thank you very much for watching today. Hope you enjoyed. It was certainly a lot of fun with some of the battles there too. I think. I think I had way too much fun using uh, Skitty's assist. Not gonna lie, it was it was way too much fun. Uh, I I love the metronome like moves, and it just worked perfectly. Well, I think about it, you still have pickup, but you haven't picked up anything. Oh, maybe you'll pick up something on the next episode. Anyways, thank you very much for watching today. Take care, stay safe, and have a good day.